guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how you can set up your podcast really easily and more specifically how to get it onto platforms like iTunes, Google Play Music, SoundCloud and all that because a lot of people have been asking me. So it's actually way easier than you think. A lot of people recommend me a way that I didn't really understand and it was really confusing and everybody recommended me that way. There were no alternatives that I could find. So I thought I'd like to make that alternative video for you guys who may not understand how to set up a podcast. I'll be making a separate video on how to you know, set up microphones and you know software and stuff like that in order to record the podcast, but this video is specifically for how to publish it. So the first thing you wanna do is make a SoundCloud account. I already use SoundCloud, so I already had it and it wasn't really a pain for me to use it at all. So after you made the account, you wanna upload all your episodes on there have the album artwork and stuff, the profile picture, your name, everything set up, the description as well, that's important. The description and the image, like the cover art, will appear on iTunes and Google Play Music. So the first thing you wanna do is go to settings and you wanna find the RSS feed. So this will be essential to getting your stuff onto iTunes. You need this link to even be considered. So you wanna copy this RSS feed. So this basically is everything on your SoundCloud, all the audio files, the album art, the descriptions, so now you wanna to go to the link in the description. You wanna log into your iTunes account or your Google Play Music account, and then you wanna sign in, and then you wanna add a podcast. So I'll do this on both here. So here, ask for our RSS feed, and I already have one here, and then I just wanna paste it. And then they're gonna to ask to validate it, and obviously it will work because, you know, it's yours. So accept the terms. I think it says I already have one previously submitted. And basically, that's all you have to enter, and it will, like, basically just submit the application and it takes about two days for iTunes, maybe three. And it takes a lot faster for Google Play Music, it takes like a day. So it will ask you to verify ownership. It's not really hard. And then basically you publish your podcast, it will take a couple days and you have everything set up. That's basically it. Now, what you're wondering is probably how do I upload onto that? Is there like a dashboard where I can upload my audio files or something like that? No, actually all the audio files that are included in your feed actually get uploaded onto your iTunes and your Google Play automatically. For example, I'll show you one of the episodes in my podcast that's published on my podcast and what that isn't and the difference. So if you go to edit right here and then you go to permissions, you can see this is not in the RSS feed. And if you go on this and then edit, this is in the RSS feed. So if you want that option selected every single time you upload anything, you wanna go to settings and you wanna go back to content and then you wanna make sure that the upload defaults select include an RSS feed. So that means anything you upload onto SoundCloud will be published. This could be helpful for people who only upload their podcast episodes onto Spotify, but if you upload other things, like for me, for example, I upload like audio of my advice videos on here as well, that might not be so convenient, but even just going to profile and then going to edit and then select include an RSS feed, that doesn't take you that long anyways. And one thing I have to say is it doesn't automatically, the moment you click include an RSS feed, actually go onto iTunes. It takes like a day as well. There's always a delay because the, I guess they have to review it if it's appropriate. I, I don't really know. And one last thing I have to say is if you do upload a lot, there's a storage limit to how much you can upload. So unless you upgrade, you can't upload anymore. So if you have a bunch of episodes, there's going to be a point where SoundCloud can't upload any more of your audio files. So they ask you to upgrade. So me personally, I think I pay like $10 a month for this. So I have SoundCloud Pro Unlimited and it's $16 per month. If you think about it, it's actually pretty cheap because a lot of people actually upload their podcast onto their website instead of SoundCloud. And sometimes it costs more than $16 to keep a website up. So just take that in mind. But if you have multiple podcasts, you can make multiple accounts for that. And if you only upload like 10 episodes or 20 episodes, it won't be a problem. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, hit that thumbs up button. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.